Story Bugs. Hello and welcome to Storytime. Thank you guys for coming. Glad you're here. We are going to read Emmy, You're the Greatest. This is Emmy, the Exaggerating Elephant from our Alphapets books. Here's all the Alphapets. We're going to read about Emmy, the Exaggerating Elephant. This book is written by Ruth Lerner Pearl, illustrated by Deborah Colvin Borgo, and published by Grolier Enterprises. Let's get started. Emmy, the exaggerating elephant, was on her way downtown early one morning when she saw some of her other alphabet friends. Boop, boop, boop. Emmy honked her horn and waved at them. Good morning, Emmy, said Perry, the polite porcupine, tipping his cap. Nice day. Nice day, exclaimed Emmy. It's not just a nice day. It's a glorious, gorgeous, magnificent day. The sky's the bluest, the sun's the brightest, and the grass is the greenest it's ever been. Well, aren't you the cheery one, said Una, the unhappy unicorn. Why well, get all excited? It's a day like every other. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Boring, boring, boring. Hmm, added Queenie, the quiet quail. Where's your enthusiasm, cried Emmy. It's the most beautiful day I've ever seen. A great day for a celebration, for a party. That's it. I'll throw a party. It will be the biggest and best party in the whole wide world. Hop in, she shouted. Hold on to your hats and away we go. The alphabets piled into Emmy's car and rode off in a cloud of dust. Emmy's car screeched to a stop in front of the Eleven Elves Shopping Emporium. Follow me, she said, and they all ran toward the entrance of the shopping center. On the way, Emmy invited everyone she saw to come to her party. Good morning, shoppers, she called. Come to my party. It will be the absolute greatest. Bring all your friends. Emmy stepped on the escalator. Hey, everybody, she shouted. You're all invited to a big bash at my place. Yori, the yucky yak, said, I think parties are yucky. Too much laughing and singing and dancing. My spiders get nervous at parties, and so do I. I never know what to say at parties, said Fenton. I never know what to say at parties either, agreed Monty, the mimicking mouse. Don't worry about a thing, whooped Emmy. Everyone will love this party, even your spiders, Yori. And there will be a special super duper surprise at the end. You don't want to miss that. Wow, everyone in town wants to come to my party, said Emmy. How exciting. I must be sure to have more than enough of everything. And I must have an extra, extra special surprise. Everyone followed Emmy to the food store where she bought dozens of eggs, gallons of milk, sacks of sandwiches, crates of crackers, wheels of cheese, buckets of biscuits, gobs of gumdrops, jugs of jelly beans, Rafts of raisins, berries, and nuts. Then she bought tubs of ice cream, piles of pizza, and pounds of popcorn, pretzels, and chips. Maybe she's going a little overboard. The shopping carts were so full that the checkout clerk couldn't see who was doing the shopping. You won't be able to carry all this, said the clerk. You're buying too much. Never mind, said Emmy from behind her bundles. My friends will help me. Please leave the packages at the pickup counter, and we'll get them on the way out. 
Next, everyone followed Emmy to the party goods store. Emmy ordered hundreds of balloons in every size and color, giant bags of confetti, cases of crepe paper, streamers, and yards of electric lights and lanterns. She also bought piles of paper plates, heaps of hats, horns, and nose makers, and boxes full of cups, forks, spoons, and straws. And all along the way, she kept inviting more and more guests. After the alphabets finished shopping, they squeezed into the elevator and rode down. They picked up the groceries and loaded all the bags and boxes into Emmy's car. And now, said Emmy with a twinkle in her eye, I'm off. But no one can go with me now. This part is a secret. Go home, everybody, and be sure to come to my house tonight at exactly 8 o'clock. Be sure to wear your most elegant party clothes. Excuse me, but will we all fit in your house? asked Perry. Oh, dear. I didn't think about that, said Emmy. But then she smiled and said, we'll have the party outside. Emmy jumped into her car buckled her seatbelt, and off she went. As she swerved around the corner, Emmy heard a rattle and a crush. Packages and bags and boxes were falling helter-skelter everywhere. Eggs cracked, balloons popped, and games rolled all over the street. Oh dear, said Emmy, watching the balloons escape. I hope I still have enough of everything. And she ran into the bakery after cleaning up the mess. Meanwhile, all the alphabets were getting ready for the party. As soon as the town clock struck eight, they came rushing from every direction. When the alphabets arrived at the party, they could hardly believe their e eyes and ears. It says, everybody welcome to Emmy's extravaganza. Music was blaring from 11 loudspeakers. There were hundreds of balloons and decorations and thousands of electric lights. And giant tables were loaded with mountains of food. But the party was much too noisy. Perry tried to greet his friends, but nobody could hear him. It was too bright. I can't see anything, complained Una. Those bright lights are blinding me. It was too crowded. There were so many people that Yori was afraid his spiders would be crushed. And it was too messy. Ice cream was melting, the fudge was dripping, the soda fountain was overflowing, pizzas were falling, and popcorn was popping everywhere. Zzzz. Suddenly the music stopped and all of the lights went out. Oh no, help, help, shouted Fenton. Help, help, shouted Monty. Bradley the brave bear turned on his flashlight. I guess the power blew, he said. We used too much electricity. Emmy had better call for help, said Delilah, the demanding duck. Where is Emmy anyway, and what's this big surprise she promised us? Just then, a giant van arrived. The back door opened. And down the ramp rolled the biggest, pinkest, gooeyest cake the alphabets had ever seen. So this is a surprise, cried Perry. But where is Emmy? asked Fenton. Is she hurt or sick 
or lost. Suddenly, the frosting on top of the cake started to wiggle. The sparkles started to wiggle. And the jelly started to jiggle. Splat! The cake split open and out leaped Emmy with a great big smile on her face. Emmy looked around and saw what happened to the food and decorations. Oh dear, she cried. I wanted this party to be the best and the greatest party that ever was. But I did too much. Everything is ruined. More is not always better, said Wendy the wise woodchuck. That's true, Perry agreed. Maybe the party wasn't so great, but you are, Emmy. You tried your very best to give us all a good time. It was so sweet of Perry to say that. Enjoy these exciting, I guess that's the end of that story. And now we're going to learn about some more E words. Enjoy these exciting words with me. Egg. Eyes. Elevator. Earrings. Entrance. Elves. Eleven. Escalator. Well, that was an interesting story, huh? Because it wasn't anybody's birthday. The party was just because she was bored, but it was a little bit too much, huh? I really like what Perry said. You are great, and you are enough. We don't need all the other fancy stuff, do we? Thank you guys for joining me for this story, and I hope to see you again next time. If you guys enjoyed reading that story, would you please click subscribe down below? We read new stories just like this one every day, and we would love to let you know when there's a new story to listen to.